Hello, Salam Alaikum. And uh, now I'm going to show you how to read special data shape file formats into R. Okay. So I have two types of data in my folder. One is the um the polygon data, the shape polygon data for the state of Klantan. Right? So you can see here. This is in a folder called data and in the folder there is another folder map Kelantan and this is a the, the shape file. It has four types of file, the uh, database file, the PRJ, SHP and SHX. And I have the line listing data of dengue uh, notified cases in Kelantan for 2019. So this file is in XLSX format. So what I'm going to do is uh, we are going to make a new file. New file and we choose our mark down. Do you want to install this package now? Yes. And it takes a few minutes to install the package. Um, the workflow that I'm going to follow today, number one is I'm going to prepare the environment to make sure that, you know, um, the directory of the uh, work or the working directory is in the correct location. Number two, I'm going to load the necessary packages. And number three, I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, read the uh, special data. I'm going to give the names of this R markdown as Dengue. Dengue and put my name as Kim and HTML default of output format right we don't want the, all this so we can just delete this and I'm, what I'm gonna do now is since I'm working on our studio cloud so it's quite easy uh, to see that you know we got this uh, folder project and and we won't be uh, we won't lose the or lose the, the the working directory so i'm gonna <coughs> prepare do some uh, preparation and we're gonna load some packages SF, especially SF package, right? Um, to uh, read and write and manipulate uh, special uh, data, tidyverse for data wrangling. Here, just to point to the right uh, folder, janitor to clean the names or the variable names from Excel file. A DT is to produce a nice uh, table string r because there will be some uh, you know we're going to find some words inside our data broom to also produce nice table tmap is a, a, a specific a special package to uh, visualize uh, special data map view and lubricate to handle the uh, dates uh, variables Right, looks good. So now, I'm going to read the polygons data, right? So uh, the function is st underscore read. And um, I'm, I'm using here because here will tell me where 
is the locations of the file. It's inside the folder data. It's inside another folder map Kelantan. And the shape file is Kelantan.shp. Then I want to visualize the, uh, the data frame of Kelantan. You can see that this is uh, an S3 or shape file, and the projected CRS for this file is Kartau RSO Malaya meter. Now I'm gonna plot this polygon. I'm using ggplot um, ggplot function okay from the uh, tidyverse package and here you can see the uh, you know a polygon map of Glantan with sub districts and um, the color is determined by the uh, total population And now I'm going to use um, the T map package. So this will tell you um, which file that I'm going to plot, Plantan data frame, and which of the columns that, that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use a, a column uh, with the name Jum Jan or the total population. So you can see uh, the map here. We want to create, if we, this is the total population for the total population. If I want to look at the population for male and for female, then I want to split this map into two, right? So if I'm using uh, tmap, then I am going to use tm facets uh, function. So if you look here, the um, if you look at the um, the data, you have negri da era mukim lelaki and perempuan. So I'm just now we plot uh, this uh, column now i want to plot this column and this column all right so that's why i'm using tm facets right so you can see the um, uh, a map for male population and a map for uh, female population We can also uh, use uh, this uh, this uh, you know ggplot function to 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 plot a similar um, you know uh, plot, but however, t map seems a little bit easier to you know to do multiple uh, plots or mat plots for multiple columns for example this one we have a column for lelaki and perempuan and let's see again what columns do we have so let's say we want to plot the uh, mukim and lelaki so we can simply you know proceed And uh, yeah, don't forget to put the R code charm. Okay. So, um, so this will be um, Mukim, and another one is uh, a column for Prampuan. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's see. Let let let's let's see. If we put you know um, another column. So it's going to be three. Um, columns 
um let's say this this is the era okay and we want three let us make three rows okay so instead of columns so we have um, a rather small um, uh, small map which is you know um, doesn't look good right what if we change this to and call equal to yep um there is you know a lot of legends here so we can remove um, um you know legends from the map all right i think that's all thank you